Well, Oklahoma ranks dead last in the nation for the doctor to patient ratio. Today, nearly 60 Oklahoma counties don't meet national standards, and lawmakers warn it could get worse. But a green country woman wants to change that. Jennifer Broadus tells us how one teacher is building the foundation for Oklahoma's health care system with a little competition. That's new this evening. The Oklahoma Academy of Family Physicians calls it a critical shortage. 59 of our 77 counties don't meet the national standard of one primary care doctor for every 3,500 residents. That looks good. But these students at Claremore High School might someday help the state overcome the shortage. Next semester, I'm starting up at Votech, and I'm going to be training to be an LPN, a licensed practitioner nurse. So uh, the biomedical program is really helping me prepare for that because it's definitely a, uh, a head start into the medical field. Julie Stewart leads a biomedical program that encourages students to take advanced classes in math and science. Students can even join a club, Health Occupational Students of America, or HOSA for short. That gives them a chance to put those skills to the test. When they're completed, they've learned um, tons about the body. They've learned all kinds of career choices in the health field. And it really sets them for they kind of know what they want to do when they're, they're leaving. It's a hands-on approach that Ms. Stewart says will help the kids out of the classroom and in the hospital. HOSA students go to competitions where they test their skills in anatomy, medical terminology, and ethics. It's a fourth year Ms. Stewart has taken a group to the statewide contest. And now 15 students will continue on to nationals at Walt Disney World in June. It opens up a lot of things, actually, like it prepares me for different speeches. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of presentations in college. I mean, uh, even leading teams like my own team when I become a doctor. It's hard work that Stewart says will give these students an edge in college examinations and ultimately in the exam room. These are the kind of kids that we want locally to work for us. And I've already got my health care ready for when they graduate college. I, I have a pharmacist. Uh, a gynecologist, an endocrinologist, I have all these type of students and if I as the teacher would go to them <laughs> as a patient that says a lot for them. Jennifer Broadus, The News on 6. The students raised money to pay for their trip to Florida. They still need about $5,000. So if you would like to contribute, we've got a link on our website that shows how you can help.